Hello, Kport Online Elementary. Listen, I miss you so much. If I haven't met you yet, my name is Michelle and I am one of the Kport directors here at TLCC. So this year we're starting off by doing a series on maturity. Mm, maturity, what does it mean to be mature? So I have a question for you. What do you think it's like changing a baby's diaper? Now, I have changed diapers before, so I'm not gonna give it away, but I want you to think about it. What do you think it's like to change a baby's diaper? Okay, so now it's time to watch Connect HQ, see what uh, diaper changing has to do with anything, and I'll see you after the show. Bye-bye. Carver here at Connect HQ. Would you give me just a few seconds? There's something in here I need to find. Finally, the last string cheese stick. Ew, 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 ew. We are Connect, Connect HQ. HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Much better. And we just got a new postcard. Let's check it out. Dear Connect HQ, I thought tiny lies were okay, but my mom said they're not. I had no idea. How can I know what's a sin and what's not? Signed, Ramona. Ramona, that's a great question. Sin can be tricky, and you might not catch it every time. My friends and I were just talking about this, and I think what we learned could really help you. Here, I'll show you what happened. Hey, Harper. 
I got your message. What? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> mm. Sorry. Allergies, huh? Yeah, I'm completely stopped up. How about you? Same. I don't think anyone at HQ can smell right now. Well, hopefully we get over it soon. What's up? I updated our archives earlier, and it looks like one of our transmissions got deleted in the process. That transmission has helped so many kids over the years. I'm just really sad we lost it. Well, that's okay. We can make another one. Do you remember what it was about? It talked about sin and growing up, but I don't remember the points. Well, I can talk to Alyssa. She might remember the points. Guys! Stop whatever you're doing and look at this. Why do you have so much string cheese? You know how Chef Elaine always leaves out extra food for us to eat? Well, normally it's boring old fruits and vegetables, but today it is the best string cheese I have ever tasted. Here, try some. Hey, these are good. Oh, I'm usually not a string cheese fan, but this was pretty good. I'm going to put some in every room here at HQ. Oh, and that tour group is coming later today. I'll save some for them too. Everybody needs to try this stuff. Ugh, allergies. I see Dot's already been up here. Hey, that girl loves herself some cheese. But this stuff's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you have a second? Yeah, of course. Sorry, I've been carrying my box of tissues around everywhere. I'm still so stopped up. Trust me, I can relate. So what's going on? Well, a connection transmission was deleted earlier, and Harper and I are working on making a new one, but we don't remember what the links were. And I was hoping that maybe you might. Okay, well, what was the transmission about? Harper said it was something about sin and growing up. Oh, yeah, that was a while ago. I think Luke's stinky socks were in that somehow. Wait, what? It was a long story. Uh, but I don't really remember all the details or what all the links were. Oh, that's okay. It's worth a shot. But if it was about growing up, I think one of our new Bible links in the archives might do the trick. You want to take a look? Yeah, sure. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. is alive. When Jesus was 12 years old, he went with his parents, Mary and Joseph, to the city of Jerusalem for a festival called the Passover. When the festival was over, Mary and Joseph packed up and left the city to return home. Mary and Joseph made the trip with a lot of relatives, and because of that, they thought Jesus was with them. But after a day of traveling, they realized Jesus was nowhere to be seen. They rushed back to Jerusalem and spent three long days looking for their son. Finally, they came to the temple. There, they found Jesus sitting with the teachers of God's Word, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard Jesus speak was amazed by what He had to say and everything He understood. Mary said to Jesus, Why did you treat us like this? Your father and I were so worried and have been searching for you. But Jesus said, Why were you searching for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Even though Jesus was God's son and never sinned, he still needed to grow and mature. So Jesus went to the temple. He knew he could learn and grow by talking to the teachers there. Growing up and being more mature for God was important to Jesus, so he went to the temple on his own. In the coming years, Jesus continued to grow in wisdom and strength for God. As he did, it was pleasing to God and the people around him. It doesn't matter how young you may be, everyone can learn more about God. When you do, you'll grow like Jesus and become wiser and stronger every day. Even though Jesus is the Son of God, there were still ways he needed to grow and mature when he was a boy. And he knew that his father's house was the perfect place to do this. He could ask trusted adults his questions about God and the Bible. That's right. And no one had to tell Jesus to go spend time in his father's house. 
growing up and being mature for God were so important to him that he did it on his own. I guess it's something that we all go through when we make that choice to follow Jesus. There's a lot that we don't know. It's like we're baby Christians, but we take the time to learn more about God and we grow in our faith, just like Jesus did. Um, part of growing up as a Christian means learning what sin is. As we get more mature, we begin to understand what's right and what's wrong. I think that is a great link for our... our, uh, our God. Come on. Bless you. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Hey, that's exactly what I needed. I can breathe. Oh. 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 Whew, that's, something smells really bad. It smells like burnt popcorn and sauerkraut. Oh. oh. If you say so. Hey, Harper. Need some more string cheese? Sure. It feels like I've been spending hours looking for links for this transmission. A snack break would be nice. What kind of links are you looking for? Anything that talks about how we can be more mature in our faith. Huh. Hey, you know what? I overheard Rodney talking about a new Skip Vision video yesterday. It might be just what you're looking for. Let's take a look. <laughs> Rodney, are you practicing to be a statue or something? No. Then what are you doing out here? Nothing. I'm trying not to sin. But I don't know what is a sin or what isn't a sin. So I've decided to do nothing. What? You mean like, ever? Yes. Ever. If I don't ever do anything ever again, I don't have to worry about sinning. But that's not how God wants us to live. It's not? No. Here, why don't you say a verse with me? It's from the book of Luke. Okay, fine. <laughs> Luke 2.52. Luke 2.52. Jesus became wiser and stronger. Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. As Jesus got older, he grew in wisdom, and we can too. Wisdom can help us know the difference between right and wrong. How so? When we read the Bible and pray, we learn more about God. He knows best about what's good and what's bad. Really? So I don't have to just do nothing and worry about not sinning for the rest of my life? <laughs> of course not. When we choose to rely on God's power, stay away from things that make us want to sin, and ask other people for help avoiding sin, we can live amazing, fun lives while following Jesus. Okay. That's really awesome to hear. You know, it's oh, oh, might be a little stiff. <sighs> How long have you been standing out here? I don't know. Six hours? Rodney. <sighs> Dot, that was the perfect verse link for this transmission. I love the advice that Andy and Rodney shared on how we can grow in wisdom and say no to sin. I know. Reading our Bible, praying, asking others for help, and staying away from the things we know are wrong are so important when it comes to knowing what sin is and avoiding it. I can't wait to make this transmission. And I think... <laughs> Sorry, Dot. No worries. Whoa. Whoa, what? My nose cleared up a little. Ew. What is that smell? It smells like a cat's diaper in here, but I'm not sure where it's coming from. Huh. Well, I better keep passing out these string cheese sticks. See you later, Harper. Hey, Tony, want another string cheese stick? Uh, yeah, sure. I can eat it while I'm trying to find the bad smell. Huh. Ugh. Harper said she smelled something bad earlier, too. Of course, my nose is still stuffed up, so I can't smell. Ho, oh, oh. ho! This, this is it. Mm. Huh? The cheese sticks, that's, that's the, uh, that's the bad smell. <gasps> Tony, don't say things like that. These cheese sticks are the best snacks we've had at HQ in months. Whoa, what was that? 
minor stomach rumble. I'm probably just hungry. Oh, no, 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 no. You've been eating these, oh, these cheese sticks all day long. This is what made your stomach rumble. Uh, please. Now, where did, uh, where did Chef Elaine put these out? Uh, on the counter or, or next to the garbage can? <gasps> Stop it! I love these cheese sticks. You're not being nice. Todd, I'm not trying to be mean, but I really don't think these are good for you, and they're stinking up the building. We need to get rid of them before the tour group shows up. Never! <sighs> Hold on. Oh, I hurt. Dot, are you okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Do you want another string cheese stick? You know, the bed smell had left and now it's back. Huh, really? What, what are you doing? That's it, that's the smell! No, you're wrong! <laughs> Tony, something is really wrong with those cheese sticks. Oh, trust me, I know my beard almost fell off because of the smell. We need to get rid of all of them. No, you can't make... <laughs> you can't make me... We should probably follow her, huh? Yeah, and throw away any cheese sticks we come in contact with. Oh. <laughs> Alyssa, has Doc come up here in the last few minutes? No, is everything okay? Well, we found out what the bad smell was, and it's... <clears throat> it's a string cheese. <sighs> oh, come on, you guys are just messing with me. These things are great. I'm on my third one. <sighs> Ooh, that was just what I needed. Oh, I oh, it smells so bad. It smells like a tire fire at the swamp. Here, put it in here, put it in here. Yeah. In here. And Dot's nose is still stuffed up, so she's convinced that the cheese sticks are good. And we're pretty sure it's making her sick. Oh, now I remember where Luke's stinky socks fit into that transmission. What does that have to do with anything? Come on, let's go find Dot. I think I know a way we can help her. Hey, Captain Alyssa. You don't feel so good, do you? No. I think those cheese sticks might have been bad, which doesn't make sense. They tasted so good. Well, there's a silver lining to all this. You helped Tony and Harper find the point for their transmission. I did. She, she did. did. Mm hmm This is the point. No more stinking sin. It's time to grow up. No more stinking sin. It's time to grow up. That's right. Those cheese sticks, they're like sin. And sin hurts us. But it can make us think that it's something good. But God is perfect. And He can see sin for exactly as it is. Just stinky, nasty, and all around bad. And when we make the choice to follow Jesus, we start to see sin for the stinky thing it is too. And we can throw it all away. Exactly. I'm sorry for making you guys chase after me all around Connect HQ. It's okay, Dot. Why don't we try and find something to help settle your stomach? That would be nice. So let's get rid of this. Uh, it smells like gym socks. Yeah. It took a while to track down the rest of the string cheese. Dot really spread them all over the place. But we finally found them all. And Dot's on her way to feeling better. Ramona, do you remember the verse from earlier? Why don't we say it together? Luke 2, 52. Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. Jesus is God's son, and he never sinned when he was on earth. But he still had to grow and mature when he was a kid. Even when he was young, Jesus knew he needed help understanding the Bible. So he went to the temple to talk to trusted adults. He asked them lots of questions. And with their help, he grew and became more mature for God. Part of becoming more mature is seeing sin for what it really is. Sin can trick us and make us think it's something good, a lot like that string cheese Dot found. But it's actually stinky and nasty and can hurt us if we let it stay in our lives. But when we choose to follow Jesus and get to know Him through reading the Bible and praying, He helps us see the difference between right and wrong. And trusted friends and family can help us learn to say no to sin. Don't forget, 
No more stinking sin. It's time to grow up. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Since her sense of smell is mostly back, Captain Alyssa asks us to clean out the fridge and get rid of everything that's expired. Let's do this. Ready for the first one? Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's good. Oh, this one smells like Band-Aids. Hey, this is my lunch container. I've been missing it for months. Ooh, that doesn't look too good. This one's definitely Mike's. It's just filled with gummy bears. <laughs> just burn it, burn it. Oh, it smells like an elephant's armpit. When we choose to follow Jesus, he helps us grow, mature, and learn to say no to sin. If you've never decided to follow Jesus and make him your leader and number one friend, you can do that today. All you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, congratulations. Be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Wow, that was a great lesson. And so now our point today is no more stinking sin. It's time to grow up. I like that point. It's very, very straightforward. And so now we're gonna read our Bible verse. Let's open our Bibles. If you need to pause, go ahead and get your Bible. We're opening up to Luke 2.52. And it says, Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. That's so interesting. I actually never read that verse that way, that Jesus became more and more pleasing to God. Even Jesus matured in his faith. Interesting. Okay. So we're not done. What you should do is you should click the lesson activity link below this video on the Kport online page because there's activities and discussion questions for you to do with your family. All right. And then you can even email me and tell me how it went. Tell me how your day is going. All you have to do is ask your parents for my email and they could definitely find that for you. All right. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you next week at Kport Online. Bye-bye.